Hey guys, it's Maris. Welcome back to Harpies in the Trees, where I review horror books with a supernatural focus. Vlog edition. So today I'm going to be reading in my living room. It's very exotic, um, but um, I don't think I will have time to go to the cemetery this week because I'm doing this temporary job. It ends on Friday, so I really wanted to try and make a video before the weekend. <laughs> so I know I said that my next two reads were going to be these two books, but I do have some arcs and I want to get those read and out of the way. Otherwise, I'm really afraid that I'm going to take too long to read these arcs, which always happens with me. Um, so I really want to start on Smithy and uh, I'm going to do this novella, After Me, The Great Flood. So I really want to start reading these today and see how these are feeling, especially the Smithy book, because that is a epistolary book. So I think that's how you say that. I'll be reading all different types of artifacts, journals and newspapers and um, letters and stuff like that. So, so I'm really interested to see what that's going to be like for me in the beginning because it's really not my favorite thing. Smithy is about a group of researchers who rent this old mansion in the 1970s. They bring their subject with them, which is a chimpanzee, to teach him American Sign Language. But as this is going on, the house, the history of the house, the spirit of the house is speaking through the chimpanzee through the American Sign Language. So it sounds really compelling and interesting. And this sounds like it might be a haunted house story. Um, I'm not exactly sure, but it definitely takes place in a house that has secrets that are buried underneath it. So that's gonna be pretty fun to dig into. <laughs> also, I'm so sorry, there wasn't a 60 second short story review compilation video this week. I just, um, just last week just was a really bad week for me. So I wasn't able to get to it, but I'm really hoping to do that this week. So hopefully we can have one for next week. I'm gonna get myself some cold mineral water and sit down and start reading some pages from Smithy. I also have my reading atmosphere set up. It's the video that you saw in the beginning. So it's really gonna set the mood and help me focus a little bit. Having a little bit of a hard time focusing, <laughs> but this always helps. Are we alone in the universe? Are human beings the sole source of intelligence? The only ones capable of that. Okay, so I've read 24 pages and so far um, it's been an article and a script from a news segment and some letters and it's pretty cool it's actually really interesting um, getting to know Trevor Hall which is where all of the scientists and Smithy are going to be so we're getting really good information and details about the estate, what it looks like, what's inside of it, what's outside of it, how it feels, just a lot of really good details about the house. We're also getting to know some of the characters. Uh, they all come from different backgrounds and they're mostly women. And so that's, and, and how also they're perceiving each other. So, so far I'm really, really enjoying it. It's I think what I like about it is that the documents are, they're not like getting straight to the point where it's like, doesn't make sense, but it feels like there's not a lot of fat, like it has a purpose. It's very clever though, how they're written. So I think this is going to be really good. It is really, really compelling already. <laughs> so I really hate to stop, but it's like 1130 PM right now. So I'm definitely going to pick this up tomorrow and we will spend some time and read another section here. But before I go to bed, I definitely want to read a few pages out of here. So let's read this, check it out and see what it's like. The place was nothing remarkable, but Lena Hagen wasn't looking for anything extraordinary. So I 
I read 20 pages of After Me, The Great Flood. Um, not too much is happening. We have a mom who is needing a place to live and she's hoping to live at this place, this house that's kind of been split up to be like two living sections. So the landlord has prayed for her to move in with her son. Um, and this is very exciting for her. This is what she wants. And so we're kind of just there with the character for the moment while she is moving and just kind of really, you know, hoping that this is like a step in a really good direction for her. So at the moment, it's nothing much is happening. Um, so I'll need to read some more tomorrow and see where it takes me. So now I'm going to get ready for bed. And uh, yeah, so I guess I will see you tomorrow. Now I'm back home, it's the next day. I want to talk to you about um, everything that I read today. So the type of job that I do, it's a temporary job. It's actually over on Friday. I'm just kind of manning the front desk, but I can do whatever I want. So I can read or I can work on my laptop, which is, it's pretty nice. I have to say, I can't complain about it. So I really wanted to take advantage of this today and do some reading. I haven't done any reading um, there as of yet, which is kind of working on other stuff, but I did get pretty far with Smithy. I think I'm on page 60 now. And for After Me, The Great Flood, I got to page 53. So let's talk about what's happening now because it's getting pretty interesting. We were just meeting all of the people that are going to be staying at the mansion and assisting this psychologist that's running this experiment with Smithy. Um, so we get to meet these uh, mostly women and all of these women uh, are very, very different in many ways. Now, just like their backgrounds, uh, you know, where they come from, their financial uh, situation. Um, their closeness to their families, um, where they went to school, and how they ended up um, in this uh, project. At the same time, we're beginning to learn a little bit about, you know, maybe more of their personal kind of uh, thoughts, you know, their political uh, leanings, and um, also uh, quirks about their personalities. And we're also beginning to, you know, see the house. So, these chapters that I've been reading have mainly been about, you know, learning about the people who are going to be on board, but also exploring the house. Um, and this house is immense. It's a mansion. It's, I don't know if you've ever been to Rhode Island. There is this very specific place where there are all of these mansions, where all of these very famous families live, like the Vanderbilts. Um, I have been to that location before and I did get to see the Vanderbilt mansion from the outside. It was closed, so <laughs> just kind of walked around the perimeter. And the wealth of these families is just really uh, overwhelming and profound in the sense that it's, it's really hard to imagine being that wealthy. Um, so I kind of have this little bit of an idea of where they are. This mansion itself, um, it has 70 rooms. So it's like, I feel like you could never finish exploring this place. Um, and it has a lot of special rooms and interesting, um, inter interesting destruction um, to the rooms because this house, before it was completely, not abandoned, like somebody owns it, but just no longer in use, it used to be 
a boys school, a boarding school. And that was in the 1930s. And the, the documents that I'm reading from have so far been letters there have been some transcripts of um, video, some memos, and that's about it so far. You know, they're scientists, they're researchers, so all of them are here for, you know, the reason of discovery and being part of something um, that could possibly be historical. So their letters and their thoughts and their feelings and everything are really revolving around um, this time that they're there. So there's not a lot of fluff. It's, it's really a lot of interesting, interesting stuff. Um, I've already uh, been kind of slow casting um, this book, like if it were to be a film. Um, and I've already have Anthony Hopkins as um, Dr. Pierce Prize Herald. I think it's just like perfect. It sounds like the way he speaks and the way he is, I, I could just totally see it happening. If you like movies from the 70s, um, a lot of that kind of sensibility is here, like the way the characters talk and what they're wearing and kind of just how the conversations are going. Um, so it, it, it really does feel like the time period it's really cool and i think i'm also like really taking my time with smithy i don't want to miss anything um all of the documents no matter how mundane have been really interesting so i gotta say like you know maybe just the other books i've read that have diaries and journals and stuff like maybe they just really weren't um for me you know just to just something that piqued my interest so that was interesting to me in the way they were presented or written because in this instance and it's just really it's really intriguing now after me the great flood i you know i read up to page 53 today and we do have some things going on um this young mother with her son have moved into this like house that's kind of split down the middle so they can you know live on one side and the landlord lives on the other side which to me no <laughs> i never want to be near my landlord ever like i don't even want to have to talk to the landlord unless it's like really important you know um but they forge a friendship um and so and it's actually pretty nice but now i'm at the part where Things are beginning to happen. There's a little bit of foreshadowing, kind of hinting at, you know, there's gonna be some stuff going on. It's getting interesting. Uh, not a lot has happened so far, but we will see where it goes. I feel like it's gonna ramp up really, really, really quickly, like pretty soon. There is a very sus well <laughs> in, the, in the woods. And uh, I love wells. Wells are spooky. Thank you, The Ring, because that's really what did it for me. And while I was gone at work today, um, I got my, I got the next creepy crate. And I know the last one was a disappointment and we were all very sad about it, but I'm hoping that this is gonna be a redemption box and it's gonna be good. So I'm gonna be doing this unboxing this week too. I think I'm going to go ahead and just read a little bit more of After Me, The Great Flood. And then after that, we're going to read a few more chapters of Smithy and talk about that. It was a strange and somehow surreal revelation. Sort of. Okay, I'm at page 76, so I think I'm going to stop there. I think this is a good place to stop. So I don't know how I'm going to feel about this one. Um, so far, uh, you know, I'm already 76 pages in. This story is about 130 pages long. So I don't know. Um, things are definitely happening, but I just still don't really have a real strong feeling about it yet. My imagination is not really taking off with it. I, I'm not really meshing with the characters that much. Not that they are dislikable characters. It's just like, it, the character just doesn't really seem that interesting to me at this point. I don't know. I have no idea um, <laughs> how I will feel about this one at the end. It can go kind of either way, I think. So I'll find out later this week. Now I'm going to go ahead and switch over to Smithy. Just going to read like we're at page 60 right now. Um, I think a good place to go to would be 80. So I'll read some of this. 
We'll talk about that real quick and then we will wrap this vlog up. The third floor was once the servants' quarters. All is very Okay, so I'm at page 80. And what's kind of interesting is we have the word list for the list of words that Smithy should be learning um, every week. You can see it here. It's very cool because they're also talking a lot about linguistics and, you know, what what is language? What makes a language a language? What characteristics make a language and stuff? So there are some pretty interesting conversations going on here. And I just got to a little event that's spooky. So it's pretty cool. Uh, it's very subtle. I also noticed that there are some discussions in here about being a woman in the 1970s and specifically being a woman who is working in the scientific field and uh, also kind of just the complications or the expectations and confinements of being a woman in this time period as well. So that's an also an interesting little element to the story. So I really can't wait to finish this and hopefully I can do that this week because I just have to know, I just have to know where this is gonna go. So this is going to complete our reading vlog for this week. So I hope that you enjoyed this reading vlog. I'm really sorry I couldn't get to the cemetery this week, but hopefully next week will be nice. It has been raining a lot. So I am pretty sure when I go back to the cemetery, it's gonna be an explosion of green. It's gonna be awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me today and yesterday. Uh, I really appreciate it. If you like this video, please like and comment below. Let me know your thoughts. Please take care of yourselves. Look out for each other. And I will talk to you next time.